Hi, I'm Dr. Susan from Dr. Susan's PH. Have you ever wondered about your pH or your body chemistry? Well, today's lesson is about that. What is your pH? How you test it? And well, what does it all mean? Well, basically, your pH is your body chemistry, whether or not you're acidic or whether or not you're alkaline. And if you remember back from chemistry class, you probably used little strips of paper like this to test your pH, or you probably remember testing different liquids in high school chemistry class. Watch what we're going to do. I'm going to take a piece of litmus paper, this is our testing strip, and I'm going to test Clorox. That's what you clean all of your, your whites with. So you basically, now this is going to, you have to watch this fast. Take your strip, dip it in the Clorox, and we're going to compare it to our color chart, the universal indicator pH color chart. Now I already know that Clorox is a total alkaline, so if you watch this, watch immediately what color this turns once I put it in the Clorox. And if I compare it to a chart, you notice it's purple. You also notice how quickly the Clorox is bleaching everything to a pure white. But our initial color, again, we'll do this real quick, was that really dark purple, which puts us on a 9 or a 10 on the pH scale. So Clorox is highly alkaline. It can denature proteins, has all sorts of other negative qualities. So if your body is too alkaline, imagine the damage that can create. Then we also have things that are acids. I actually have in this container right here, Diet Coke. And we all know that all sodas are an acid. Now acids are a yellow on my scale. Now because of the special litmus paper I have here, if this is a true acid, my litmus paper is going to stay yellow. So again, all this is is Diet Coke. I'm taking my litmus paper strip, I'm dipping it in my Diet Coke, and as you can tell, it stays yellow, might even turn a little orange. So you know on the acid scale, this is below a six down to a five. If you actually test this in a lab situation, Diet Coke actually comes up a three in a lab situation, and that's about the same as all your coffees. So that would be an acid. So you have acids and bases. And here's the horrible part about being too acidic or being too alkaline. Your body temperature is 98.6. So this is what I tell everybody. If I took Diet Coke or Clorox and dumped them on the hood of your car on a 98.6 degree day, can you imagine what would happen to the hood of your car? The paint would bubble, might cause some rust, might even put a hole in the hood of your car if you let it sit there long enough. The issue is in our bodies, strong acids and strong alkalines do the exact same thing in our body. They denature, they destroy, they tear down. Hydrochloric acid is a 1 on this pH scale that is totally acidic. And again, it has that same damaging properties. Believe it or not, what we eat and what we drink affects our body chemistry every second of every day. Our goal is to maintain balance, be within that 6.8 to 7.3 range on a daily basis. And that way, our bodies will be homeostatic, will be balanced, and we can minimize the effect of illness and chronic disease. Again, that's how easy it is to measure your pH. That's your lesson for the day. I hope you learned something, and have a great day.